Hi, my name is Timothy Holloway, and I am an independent filmmaker and the author of Peril. I wanted to take the time out to give you a little bit of backstory on Peril, let you know where we are, where we're going with it, as well as make this a meet the author slash filmmaker type of video. As a disclaimer, I'm not an in front of the camera person, I'm more of a behind the scenes person as a filmmaker. Um, so please bear with me this is like the 28th take of me trying to look good pose right and hit my talking points and it's just not working out that way so i'm just going to try to make this as candid as possible backstory for peril i originally wrote peril as a screenplay back in 2008 i was working at full cell university after graduating from there um at the back desk as a receptionist on the graveyard shift i had to eat pay rent just like everybody else but that was the job I had taken and um, I had a lot of time on my hands being a big fan of sci-fi particularly alien um, I wanted to write something in that vein but I wanted to write something totally original uh, new and fresh and that's where Peril was born about Peril I'm not a big fan of spoilers, and obviously I want you to get the book, so I can't give away too many details, but what I can say is that it takes place in the year 2185. Uh, the lead character is a black heroine. She's a novice captain. She's tenacious and ambitious, and she's on a mission to save Earth and humanity from imminent destruction. Uh, at the root of the story, I guess her personal conflict would be um, she makes a choice and she regrets that decision and she's seeking redemption for it. As in life, when you make a choice, whether it's the right choice or the wrong choice, when you seek redemption, sometimes that quest can be the beginning of a bigger journey. After I completed the screenplay for Peril, I entered it into an international screenwriters competition and shopped it around to various Hollywood studios. Um, I got the typical response that an unsigned filmmaker would, as myself would get, um, and that is that, sorry, we don't accept unsolicited submissions and, you know, but what was good was that I did get a few responses that said you have an original story interesting concept interesting main character and I took that and I was like you know what I do have a good story here and I'm gonna write the book I'm gonna put it in a book and put it out there for the fans to decide and I figure if it got a big enough fan following then Hollywood would have to pay attention and that way I could get past the gatekeepers but at the end of the day, when I look back over it all, I realized, more importantly, I wanted to put the story out there because it was something that was inside of me that needed to come out. Something that I needed to tell, a story I needed to tell. And I wasn't going to let some big company tell me, oh, well, because you're not represented by a agent or you haven't done X amount of films then your story isn't worthy of being told no I don't believe that I believe that if you believe in something and you have a dream you go for it and you put it out there somebody will embrace it I did get some noteworthy um, industry folks that that were interested in the story they're conceptual artists and 2d designers 3d designers uh, Neil Blevins, who's worked on Wally, The Incredible Cars, Up, Brave. I had first contacted Neil Blevins about a year ago to work on the animation project for Apparel, but he was unavailable. I continued to pursue him because I felt that his artwork was original, fresh, unique, making him a perfect candidate to depict the alien mist creature in Peril. Jamie Martin is an extraordinary conceptual artist and 2D, 3D designer. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get him for 
the Peril Animation Project because he was working as the lead visual effects artist for the 2012 Sandra Bullock and George Clooney film uh, Gravity. But thankfully he had heard about the project and he was very interested and he agreed to work on it. I think he's a perfect candidate for visualizing the technology in Peril. The third conceptual artist and 2D, 3D designer to work on Peril the Animation production is Drago Genou. I first saw his work on CG Society and ZBrush and immediately knew that he was a perfect candidate to design the ships, vehicles, and other technologies in Peril. So what's the next step for Peril? Well, currently I am almost completed with the second edition to the series, which is called Perilous. It ties up some loose ends and picks up where we left off introduces some new characters and new threats to Earth and humanity. So um, that's it. And I look forward to hearing your comments on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. And the information where I can be reached is right there on the screen. And uh, thanks. Bye.